I'm meteorologist Miss Katie Whitaker with your official Red Hook High School and Mid Hudson Valley forecast for the week of April 12, 2021. It is a cloudy and chilly day here in Red Hook, New York. Monday is bringing cloudy skies and temperatures in the 50s. Slight north wind makes it feel a little bit cooler. Definitely a different story than what we saw here last week. If we take a quick look at the weather map, you'll see the orange dotted line indicating a trough over New York State. That's what, what is bringing the cloud cover today and could spark off a shower or two today and into tomorrow morning. I think we'll see a brief break, maybe some peaks of sunshine, but some more weather systems moving in for this week. It looks like a pretty unsettled week. We'll get more to that in the five day forecast. Now, as we move into springtime, I want to highlight the fact that pollinators, a big part of our ecosystem, are starting to come out of hibernation, starting to uh, hatch, and it is very helpful to help our pollinators. We do need them. Big pollinators would be things like bees, hummingbirds, even some mosquitoes and beetles uh, can be pollinators. And there's several ways that you can help them out this time of year. And of course, there are some restrictions. I myself, I live in a complex, so I don't have a lot of control over my, my landscaping area. But there are some things that even I can do to help out these pollinators. Things like keeping areas of your yard wild, meaning not mowing them, letting the flowers grow. Things like dandelions and the white clovers are helpful for pollinators. I keep plants inside over the winter time, so they'll start to bloom a little bit earlier than the outdoor plants and I'll stick them outside on warmer days to give the pollinators something to go towards. You can also put out water for the pollinators and if possible leaving some places for shelter, things like old logs or maybe some leaf litter for them to find protection. We can all do our part in helping out those pollinators. All right, now let's get to that five day forecast again for your Monday. Cloudy skies stick around. Uh, could get up into the upper 50s but I think that'll be difficult uh, with the cloud cover. For your Tuesday, again, could see some breaks of sun. Uh, the forecast here is saying mostly sunny, but with that trough hanging around, I'm hesitant to say so, but could see some pinks of sunshine, temperatures in the low 60s. For Wednesday, look for partly sunny skies with a slight chance of rain highs in the mid 60s. Wednesday night, chance of showers, lows in the mid 40s. For Thursday, chance of rain, highs in the mid 50s. And for Friday, look for a continued chance of rain uh, with cloudy skies and temperatures around 50. Taking a look into the weekend, it looks like sort of what we saw this past weekend where Saturday looks to be the dry day at this point with another storm possibly moving in for Sunday. But a lot could happen between now and then. Thank you so much for tuning into this week's Weather with Whitaker and I'll look forward to seeing you next week.